so much. Great being back at the Mohegan Sun. Let's get it started in the bantamweight division, 135 pounds. Marvin Maldonado versus Rico DeShulo versus Scale out of Latham, New York. Please welcome Marvin Maldonado. <laughs> two and one as a pro, one knockout, one submission in those two wins. Please welcome Rico DeShulo. Record of 2 and 0, oh, one knockout in those two wins. He stands 5'8, 27 years old. Four submissions, never gone. 
victory. 242 for Josh Deakman. Let's give it up for the big boys. Two heavy hitters, Mike Wessel versus Josh Deakman, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for them. submission in those eight wins. versus 
one victory by knockout. He stands six foot, only 24 years old.
Johnson, we all know what you do. You swing for the knockout, you go for the finish. You're fighting a guy in Czech Congo, a stand-up fighter himself. What can the fans expect tomorrow night? Uh, I guess you guys can expect to throw, uh, see us throw bombs at each other. Um, I don't think this one's going past the first, so just uh, don't blink. Okay. And please welcome his opponent all the way from Paris, France. Please welcome Czech Congo. Tour tournament winner with a record of 21, 9, and 2, 12 knockouts, three submissions in those 21 wins. He stands six foot four as well. Once in victory, he stands 
six foot four, 27 years old. to silence this very vocal crowd tomorrow night against Brennan Ward. I live in New York. I fought in the Northeast, you know, at least half a dozen times. I've never been, never fought in my backyard. I've always fought the hometown guy. And, uh, you know, for more often than not, it's in my favor. So that's what we're going to see tomorrow night. And please welcome his opponent out of Waterford, Connecticut. Please welcome Brennan, the Irish bad boy. Submissions stands five foot ten. A Bellator middleweight tournament winner. but it's your strike and your knockout power. We've seen so much in Bellator. What's on display tomorrow night? Um, you know, wherever the fight goes, you know, everyone knows I like to stand on my feet. I like to bang. I like to put on a show for the crowd. It's all about the crowd, baby. This is entertainment. We're doing this big time. If it goes to the ground, I go to the ground. He wants to stand, we stand. We'll see where it goes. It's going to be an outstanding fight in the middleweight division. Tamden McQuarrie versus Brandon Ward. Give it up for him. striking of King Mo is call him a wrestler. You as a striker, you're not. You're looking for a complete mixed martial arts fight tomorrow night. Tell us about that. Yeah, man, I know it's going to get dirty tomorrow. You know, I, I thrive under pressure. I embrace the role of an, uh, the underdog, and I'm ready to get that W. And please welcome his opponent fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Please welcome King Mo. A record of 12 in those 12 wins, he stands six foot. A Bellator tournament winner, 33 years old. Justin Jacoby, what's in store for him tomorrow night? Man, I came to seek it to show it, man. You know what I'm saying? Got that new contract. I got to make a statement on it. <laughs> Let's give it up for the light heavyweights, 206 pounds. Dustin Jacoby versus King Mo.
champ, Pat Curran, first of skill. From Natal, Brazil, please welcome Patricio Pitbull. He has been a force in Bellator. His record 21 and 2, nine knockouts, seven submissions in those 21 wins. It's a personal mission for you to be the champion, to have that goal. How does it feel to be this close to that fight that's going on tomorrow night? Amanhã, não é só uma luta, é uma missão pessoal com você. Como está sentindo a pela luta amanhã? Eu não tenho nada a dizer, eu vou realizar meu sonho da minha vida. Eu vou pegar o título. I don't have that much to say. Tomorrow I'm going to accomplish my life lifelong dream, and I'm going to get that title. Welcome his opponent, the Bellator Featherweight World Champion, Pat Curran. Fighting out of Crystal Lake, Illinois, he has a record of 20 and 5, 5 knockouts, 7 submissions in those 20 wins. He stands 5 foot 10. time around but in between these two fights it got personal a lot of back and forth between you does that affect the fight does it affect the way you approach this fight or is it just another defense just another uh you know just just another fight to me you know i want to make sure that people is never gonna want to fight me again after this their first fight was epic we expect an even better one for the rematch for the featherweight world title Patricio Pitbull versus Pat Curran. Give it up for him. All fighters after weigh-in, go see the doctor. All you fans, we will see you tomorrow night. Don't go anywhere, we're getting...